shooting irons lately in some of my videos and a lot of people have been asking what is that riser with the sight on your rifle and it is the arms swan sleeve and we're gonna I'm gonna do a review on it I've had quite a few people to ask about it and in fact I have a real special story to talk about uh, the arms company uh, that happened actually just this week so I think it's very fascinating that all this kind of came together but I've had an arm swan sleeve for over 13 years and you know it's one of those purchases that you make that's you know they're not cheap but they are super high quality and once you spend that money you know you're just glad you did could have gone cheaper but I would have had an inferior product and after 13 years what would I've had so this is one of my favorite products for my AR-15. I love the, the arm swan sleeve. And we're going to take a look. It's the number 38. It is actually an extended. They make three different sizes, but this one goes an inch and a half past the receiver. So you have a little extra room for your eye relief. This one has the low profile number 40 sight, which is something new for them. I really like this. And just a, an incredibly made, well-machined piece. And so we're going to talk about the advantages of having one of these on your rifle and also the, the importance of having a backup sight on your AR-15 if you own a flat top. Flat top AR-15 M4 style rifles are the rage. Everybody loves them. I personally love the mounting system. Uh, you know, if you really like the carry handle, you can get a detachable one, which, you know, is a great to have. But really... There are so many things you can do with this flat top as far as optics. And not only optics, but there are also a number of different sighting systems out there uh, that you can put on your rifle for iron sight. But there are two things that a riser like this does. And uh, of course, it does raise your sight about a half inch. So it gives you a little more advantage when you're putting your sight on. But one of the most important things, and I think this is one thing that a lot of people overlook, it, that it protects this 1913 Picatinny rail that's built into your receiver. And having one of these on here will reinforce this rail. Because if you've got a scope clamped up here and you have no railing system, no, no riser, and that scope gets bent, you could possibly break the teeth off of this Picatinny rail. And the one thing about the arm swan sleeve is it buffers the whole railing system. Here you can see it had, it just attaches, it slides right over. Now they make this in the 5.56 caliber and the 308. Uh, this is the 5.56, of course, and it's eight, just a little under eight and a half inches, 8.46 inches in length. It is made here in the USA in mass and been there for over 30 years. In fact, they started in business in 1980. This is their uh, number 40 rear flip-up sight. You bring this back and then it clips in. So it really comes really low. Uh, they used to put an A2 sight with a bump here and they have discontinued doing that. They now just use these, which I really, I think this is a big advantage over the original. It's also the same A2 type windage adjustment, uh, the standard of 250 to 500 meter range, zero, and also it's a .75 MOA. Now one of the things I really like about this sight is, is that it can't be accidentally bumped down. Because what happens is this has to go up and over and then clicks in. So you're not going to accidentally have your sight knocked down into a locked position if you needed it rapidly. And the tolerances on these are extremely tight. I'm telling you, this is the best quality sight you can buy. Uh, Arms has been making these, and like I've said, Special Forces is using them, and the Israeli Defense Force uses all these. So they're just a really incredible, uh, and, that, and that's really a testimony to this mounting system. One thing I really like about this one is the double aperture and you can flip down the aperture to go with large and then just flip it up and then you have your your more target aperture of course it's fully adjustable left to right and then it will mate with the front sight on your rifle or if you have a you know detachable front sights which arms also makes those arms also puts this out in just a, a sight itself on a small little picatinny base 
and you can get front and rear sights as well. According to the ARMS website, these are semi-permanent. In fact, once you put these on, you just leave them on. There's no real need to take it off. And uh, in fact, I have Loctited mine down originally. This is a new one, a brand new one, and I have a story behind that that I'm going to share with you in a few minutes. But uh, the one, this one has the brand new sight, which really is a big advantage to me. I think they did a, a good thing with going with that. One of the things, too, is with this extended, it does. As you can see, it comes up and up. This extends it another one and a half inches. And so if you're working with uh, your eye relief, this will give you more railing to be able to bring your scope even forward, even more forward. Now we're going to take a look at how to attach this to your rifle. What you need to do is go ahead and take out these bolts. Just remove them from the sleeve itself. Now then you take your rifle and go ahead and take the takedown pin, the rear one. Go ahead and open it up. Pull out your bolt. You can actually leave this in as long as you pull it back, but just for video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Of course, you want to make sure the gun is unloaded. This gun is definitely unloaded, as you can see. Uh, then you take the rail with the sight toward the rear, of course, and then you just slide it forward. And it's a fairly tight little fit. And then what you'll do is go all the way down, match up with the tang right here. And then you'll notice that you'll need to be matched up with the Picatinny rails here because your bolt's going to need to go through. You take the bolt itself and the correct way to do this is with the arrows pointing rearward. Then it slides right in again, bolt pointed rearward. Okay, then we're going to put our little nuts back on. Uh, we'd take a little Loctite Then you just want to tighten these down to fit. Just a very high quality, excellent system. Again, you want to protect this, plus it gives you a little rise there. You can mount your optics with no problem with this rear sight. Now, many of you know when I was reviewing the um, Leatherwood 1x4 CMR scope, that was one of the issues that I had mounting this system, was it was too close to the sight itself. And so this, and then too, if it was all the way flush, it was too low. So this is a great option to be able to bring my sight in line. By the way, this is an excellent scope, this little CMR 1x4, and it's a lighted reticle scope by Leatherwood Hilux. This really, I had a lot of issues and I was showing my arm swan sleeve. So I just wanted to show you with the new design, it even fits this very nicely. Now, like I said, I've had an arm swan sleeve for 13 years, but the little story that I wanted to tell you, because this is a new one. In fact, this is a replacement arm swan sleeve from the original one that I had. And what happened was the other day, or actually about a couple of weeks ago, I was shooting and for some reason, this little leaf was bent over, the little protective ear. And I saw it, so I went to straighten it up, and when I did, it just broke. I went to the ARMS website. As I've said, I've had this, th this site for 13 years, this, that mount. And it said they have a year warranty. And I was like, well, great. So I emailed them. I said, hey, look, I've had my ARMS swan sleeve for a while. I said, I just want to know what can I do. Can I send it back and get it repaired? And so the girl was very nice in the email. She said, please just send it right back and just include this letter with, your, um, with the part, and we'll get in touch with you and let you know what we can do well I sent it priority mail and within two days they got it and the same day she got right back to me said we've looked at it and there's nothing we can really do we don't use the old type site but we, we will put on the new one if that's okay I just want to make sure it's okay I said that'd be great in fact I really like this site actually a little better within two days I had it back unbelievable customer service I mean it was a five-day turnaround no it was a four-day turnaround it was two days to them and then they got it and then two days later I had it so just an unbelievable customer service they were very friendly very quick to get back to me arms is top of the line top-notch top-shelf company that I want to highly recommend they are doing a polymer set of these I want to highly recommend the metal It's number one 
but the polymers, if they're making them, they're high quality. So check out ARMS. You can go to their website, and uh, I think it's just armsmounts.com. I'll have all the information below, but go down and check out. They have all kind of different risers. In fact, they're the first ones to produce the throw levers, and they really do a lot with Trigicon. So that, of course, as well, speaks highly of the ARMS company, ARMS Mounts. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Of course, this is the side of the arm swan sleeve that you don't want to see.